Now remember, a durable power of attorney is a very powerful document because this is where you are giving someone else the authority to make all the decisions that you make yourself. Anything that you can do, they are able to do once you sign that durable power of attorney. Now, not all durable power of attorneys have both financial and medical aspects to them. You can appoint the same person to serve both as your financial and medical power of attorney, or you can have two separate people serve, one for financial, one for medical. Or you may only do a financial power of attorney and have them refer to your advanced directives where you have decided, you have made the decisions of what is going to happen to you. But that is something you need to decide now while you are competent. Do you want a financial power of attorney? Do you want a medical power of attorney? Do you want someone else to make those decisions for you? And if you do, make sure that the person that you choose to give that power is someone that you trust implicitly. You know that they will do what you have asked them to do. You have given them the information so that they know what you want. And you have no doubt that they will fulfill those duties to the best of their abilities. I hope this has given you value. If it has, please like, comment, and share this with someone who you know would appreciate the information.